Right, so we start by making the buns. We put some yeast and warm water in a large bowl. This is the bowl that your dough is going to be in, so make it a pretty good size. And make sure your water is not too hot or you'll kill your yeast and your buns won't rise. Leave that for about 5 to 10 minutes and the yeast will froth up and the mixture will look like salmon ava. To this we're going to add sugar, some salt, a lightly beaten egg, and some oil. If you want the exact measurements, you can go to the blog. The link will be posted under the video and it's also at the end of the video. Now we add our flour in a cup at a time. So we put in the first cup and stir it really well. But you know, a rubber spatula, it's not going to be strong enough to work the dough, so use a strong wooden spoon and mix it up well before adding your second cup and stir that in. You'll start to see your dough come together. With the last cup, you're going to add it a little bit at a time because you don't want to add so much flour that you end up with a stiff dough because if you have a stiff dough then you'll end up with stiff hard buns and <laughs> those will not taste good. So just add your flour a bit at a time. What you're looking for is a cohesive mess. So here I can see my dough starting to look like I can handle it with my hands. So I think that's enough flour. That was just a half a cup of that last cup of flour. Turn that out onto a lightly floured board and you're going to knead it now for anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, you're looking for a soft elastic ball of dough. They say it should feel as smooth as a baby's bottom so that when you ingy it, when you pinch it, the dough, not the baby's bottom, <laughs> when you pinch it, it should come out nice and elastic like this without breaking. Put that dough in a lightly oiled bowl, cover it and then leave it until it's doubled in volume and I don't know how long it will take, it just depends on how warm your kitchen is. Uh, my kitchen was 30 degrees Celsius and it took one hour. Right, your dough's doubled in volume so in the meantime let's get your tin ready I'm using a round uh, 20 centimeter tin here. I used two of these actually. But I prefer the rectangular or square tins because the buns look better when they're all lined up. Punch your dough down just to get rid of all the air. And then we're going to turn that out onto a lightly floured board again. Now there are two ways to shape these buns and I'm going to show you both that I know of. There might be others. <laughs> This uh, first one is a spiral shape. Just roll your dough out until it's a long rectangle and then roll it up, jelly roll style. Now this is all the dough but I'm only going to make half the dough into spirals. Use a really sharp knife to cut into your dough. It's got to be sharp or else you lose all the details of the spirals. Make sure your slices are even so that the buns are all the same height. Then just arrange them in your baking tin. It's ungreased because there's so much fat in the coconut cream sauce, you, you don't need more. The other way to shape these is just into balls. Just pinch off a bit of dough, um, smooth the outside, turning it inside out, pinch the bottom and arrange those in your baking tin. You can also roll them in your hands or roll them on the table, whatever you like. The important thing is the shape. Okay, we just leave those until they are doubled in volume again. And in the meantime, we make our coconut sauce, which is just equal parts of coconut cream and water, and then sugar added to taste. Again, the exact ingredients, uh, the exact measurements are on my blog. You just mix it up and then it's good to go. You pour the sauce over the buns just before you're going to bake them and the sauce should come up to about half the height of the buns. Don't put too much sauce in or you'll drown your buns. Bake the whole lot for 
25 to 30 minutes or until they're golden brown, well risen, and the sauce is really thick. You need to leave the buns to cool for about 30 minutes, uh, or the sauce won't thicken and the buns won't set up properly. And uh, then enjoy it with a hot cup of kokosamo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.